Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another part of the Cintiq versus Asus EP1 comparison. Uh, so here's I have the Cintiq has been recalibrated a little bit. I got some more reds out of it, but you can still see what I mean that the white here on the Cintiq and the white here on the EP1 EP1 actually is better. Uh, and uh, let me show you the baby face picture. <coughs> I did Im improve the Cintiq quite a bit by taking out some of the redness. I like to keep it red uh, for professional uses uh, so it syncs up with what it's like at work. But this is improved from when I showed you last time. Now I'm going to show you uh, Photoshop with uh, a bunch of layers and a 4000 by 3000 uh, size <coughs> image. Uh, so obviously this uh, slate is not going to be as powerful as a desktop computer, but this is approximately what you can expect out of out of the performance. Um, you know, uh, let me see. So it's still pretty responsive. Let's try a bigger, try a bigger brush. Now you can start seeing a little bit of lag. Um, and the more brushes uh, you have, the more complicated the brushes, the more layers, the more history states, it all starts adding up uh, and slows down. And you can see the big round brushes lags quite a bit behind. But I would never recommend painting something this large uh, and with this many layers on on a slate like that. Now my desktop <coughs> is not all that powerful. It's an i7 but it can still handle <coughs> quite a bit more. So here you can see much more responsive on the big brush and uh, let me try this guy as well, much more responsive. But this has a lot more to do with processing power. And again, a file that is 4,000 pixels tall and with 30 layers is just not a good idea for a small slate computer. Now I'm going to show you um, what Sketchbook Pro looks like on here. Um, I prefer it to Photoshop after having used it for a little while. Uh, for uh, just doing black and white sketches. It definitely seems to be more responsive and it seems to detect more pressure sensitivity. In fact, uh, you know, if you're wondering if this has enough pressure sensitivity, I think it does. It has a pretty wide range. Um, this is me pushing the hardest. In fact, when you, because this is using Gorilla Glass, <clears throat> your hard presses can be so hard like I'm really feeling like I'm about to puncture the screen here and it doesn't scratch because it's scratch resistant so this is what sketchbook looks like on here and here's with a bigger brush sketchbook is very responsive for simple drawing and that's it thanks guys